Who can believe it? It's almost 6.02 today. We have the king of celebrity, Big Brother. He swapped his throne for our sofa. It's Mr Terry Christian. Hello, sir. Oh, so nice to have him back. But unlike Charlie, these two cannot wait to go head-to-head -head in a stylish fight out. It's Bricksmith start and be everybody. <laughs> through all of that kicker. Uh, and they'll be giving these two a very special makeover. It's ex-housemate Lisa and BB One's Anna Nolan, everybody. <laughs> but first, there are rumours that Sia Vash is leaving, everybody. Sia Vash is leaving. Rumor oh, oh there actually, there's rumours now saying he's staying. Well, let's see if he's in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. It's BBLB News 25, everybody. <laughs> BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. So, straight into the big no news. Uh, birthday boy David was thrown a party at 10.53 last night. Shame that the lavish bash stopped Sia Vash from making a death. <laughs> House. Adios. Right or wrong, come tomorrow I'll be gone. Big Brother just wants you to know that should you want to stay in the house, that Big Brother would be delighted that you stay and wants you to know that you won't be losing face. So, after sitting around for 14 weeks, he decided to leave in the last week, or did he? Let's go back to the house quite some time after he first went into the diary room. I think probably it's best to sleep in the house tonight. I will think about it and I will try to sort of try to see the benefits of staying. Where the hell have you been? Huh? Where the hell have you been? I've been seeing the doctor for my voice. Have you? Yeah. Where have you been? Trying to get some air time just before the vote, actually. And now, see if us decided to sleep on things. Well, you're all thinking it, weren't you? Uh, to sleep on things, which must have given Charlie ideas. At 12.35, he got down to doing what only good friends do with Roddy. Frantic, you say? Are they, are they going to go out with each other? Are they finally going to get it on? And they leave the damn house. Come on, boys. It's driving us all crazy. And finally, it is the penultimate day in the house. And at 2.28 p.m., excitement levels hit the roof when a special delivery came a ringing. <laughs> Invitation for a party. Party, party. Open, open. open. Such a fool. Uh, invitation. Farewell Big dinner. Brother cordially invites all housemates to a music farewell dinner, an evening, an evening of fine mm -hmm. dinner, music and morning. celebration, dress to impress. So that was an invite to the Leavers party. Two parties in two days. There'll be a few foot sore heads tomorrow. That's it for BBLB News 25, everybody. BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. Now, with only one day to go until the Big Brother final, everybody's excited, aren't we, guys? Yes, we are very excited. And not just because we'll be witnessing the crowning of this year's winner, but you might remember that Freddie said he was going to lay on a great big party at his stately home. Yeah. Remember that? Shall we... I fell off the thing there. Uh, shall, we, uh, shall we see how the preparations are going? Ravi! Good to see you, my man. Ravi, Come man. in, come in. Party. Oh. You've got to organise the party. Now have some tea first. Right, Fred, we've got to get sorted out because this could be the biggest party we've ever thrown, man. All we need, brew up some wine, get some face paints. Me and the guys will play some music down in the cave. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm failing to feel it. Oh. Show me what you've got. Oh, no. That's awesome. <laughs> one, two, one, two. 
I'm the butterfly king. Please, I'm please. The king of the <laughs> no, like, you're not. Awesome. You're not the king of the forest, Fred. You look like a pillock in a butterfly. <laughs> it's close. Don't worry, man. This place is perfect. I wish you Mm. Mm. All the lamb, yeah. All the sausages and all the burgers, yeah. Every party needs ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. No party is complete without face paints. Face paint, really? Yeah, yeah, man. We've been lovely and shimmery. Hey! Uh, Rabbit, do you have any cash? Oh, right? you're joking again. Mm. <laughs> all right, then. All right, see ya. Gonna have a hot out front. We've got lots of space out here, so that could be nice. Oh, lights in the tree, yeah. Like magical, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, this is definitely the place, man. This is where the dark score is gonna be. It's gonna be rocking, mate. It's gonna be rocking. Yeah, man. Rock on. I can't believe it. Bricks just said, who's that Ravi guy? Ravi's a massive friend of the show. He's one of my favourite people. I love him. It's time to meet my first guest. One is a stylist who's rocking the fashion world. The other rocked the Big Brother world when she was in the house. Please welcome back Bricks and B, everybody. <laughs> How are we doing, ladies? Good. We're all right. B, lovely to see you back, darling. Lovely to see you. How are you? I'm awesome. Are, have you kind of, have you worked your way back into civilian life yet? Yeah, slowly but surely. Yeah, everything all I'm right? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. OK, good. Uh, now, Bricks, uh, obviously you are a, a stylist extraordinaire. There's five people left in the house. Uh, there will only be one winner. However, if we were judging it on style, who's getting it? Absolutely Siavash. Siavash, really? Yeah. yeah. They like it. Uh, how do you think he's pulling off the Lycra look? Um, fantastic. I mean, they thought they would really stump him by giving him a nude leotard and high heels. Yeah. But he is working. Nothing's going to stop this guy. Yeah. He is working it. First of all, no, this is Martin Margiela catwalk look of two seasons ago. I swear to God. Really? Look it up. Yeah, totally. And not only that, he's got such a personality that he really, really could pull off anything. Diapers, you know, fine. Yeah, no, no, well, well, they, but they've given him something good. No, he, does, he genuinely looks fantastic, I have to say. Uh, B, is there anybody in there who, who doesn't deserve to be in there still? Either from a style oh. perspective or just a, a straight housemate perspective? Um, maybe Roddy. Really? Maybe Roddy. Why so? Yeah. Is, that, is that a style uh, thing or you just you, you don't really want him in there anymore? Um, I don't know. Well, I want, no, everyone deserves to be there, I suppose. Right, OK. Backtracking. Yeah, okay. Back, 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 pedal, back, uh, pedal. Now, uh, on last <laughs> night's my show, favorite. Charlie <laughs> threw his fascinator out the pram. For those of you who aren't stylistas, a fascinator's a funny little hat thing, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that. He threw that out of the pram. <laughs> Have a look. Stylist. Charlie. Don't want to do it. This is, I do not want to be anything else but that. I'd rather not take part in the task. I do not want to do it. <laughs> you angry. Your face angry. Just don't laugh at us, I'm not in the mood. Do I don't want to be the stylist? What is the point? Then Ovid, you can do hair, haven't you? Yeah, but I can't do makeup. And they don't even give you proper hair, they give you a wig, which you can't even get a brush through, so what's the point? I do not want to be the stylist. I'd rather be cleaner on the stage. <laughs> All about. It's not that bad being a stylist, is it, Briggs? She looks like a lot of fun to me. It's fantastic. Look what I've just brought from B. I'm going to style her right this yeah, second. Style in her me, own style me. Wow, indomitable. So fun Charlie could have been that Festival having. style. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of B's style, Briggs? Um, I think B is, you know, that does the festival look. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliantly. You know, as good as Sienna Miller, as good. Wow, how about hey. that? Uh, now, uh, so, now, earlier on today, sorry. guys, Are we, we get put the girls' <laughs> styling skills <laughs> to the test. Uh, we uh, we asked things. them to recreate B style on two ex housemates. <laughs> B style, Big Brother. That's going well. Okay, uh, Big Brother one's Anna Nolan describing it as a Bohemian <laughs> festival look. <laughs> and Blair has got her hands on BB10's lease and did the same. Uh, let's have a little look at them before they had their makeover. This is them arriving. Uh, talk me through, because I don't worry about all that. What, what's going on over here? What, what do you think of the stars? Well, I love Lisa. Lisa's like... doing the old Avril Lavigne skater punk. And the emblem look, yeah. shirt, which is always cool. Okay. And um, Anna's quite traditional and classic and lovely sort of like stripey, crickety blazer. Nautical. It's, okay. it's like nautical, but crickety, Englishy. Well, nautical critic. <laughs> critic, sorry. Right, yeah. Uh, do you, uh, you want to see the results, guys? Yeah! Yes, 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 yes. 
tricks there. Let's start with Lisa. Lisa, can you come on out, please? <laughs> area of yep. the festival. Okay. It's designer head to toe. What's really important is footwear to festivals because it's always muddy. Of and the course. Rolls Royce of all wellies is Hunter's with the little wellie socks that go with it. Cute touch. And she's got the hood in case it's windy or it rains or she needs to block out bad music. All right, do we like that, guys? Yeah! 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 Well, let's see how Anna's looking. Yeah. Right, talk us through what you've done there. Well, obviously, you need some sequins going on. Of course, yes. Um, we've got a kind of gypsy-style dress yeah. with a corset belt. We've got little tassel shoes. I've just gone for, you know, a quite plain look. But okay. then the, also this scarf, a tablecloth, that is. <laughs> tablecloth. Yes, tablecloth. Wow, you never yeah. know. Anna, do you like the look? <laughs> it smells of chilli con carne, but I love the look. I love yeah. the look. All right, will you go over next to Lisa, please, darling? Audience, it's decision time. Uh, if you think Anna looks the best, uh, then you hold up your buzzy bee. Uh, and if you think Lisa looks the best, then you hold up your Bricks paddle, all right? Yeah? And uh, Bricks, I believe you told everybody that if B wins this, you're going to give her one of your shots, yeah? I didn't say that, but I could possibly find something to give her. Right, OK. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I think B... Oh, it's a full house Bricks as well, I'm afraid. <laughs> It's all right, it's all right. We got it. We got it. Done. Done. Uh, still to come, the first and last Big Brother losers, and I'll be firing up my hard drive for a bit of online action. I'll see you in three. All right, here's a suggestion. Here's a suggestion. It's just to make us move his clock. Ah! Pig tails. tails. Please beware that the tails contain bones and cartilage. Oh, that was so rank. Welcome back to BBLB. It is 617. My next guests were both pipped at the Big Brother post. Here's a reminder of when they both became losers. The winner of Big Brother is Craig. <laughs> Celebrity Big Brother 2009 is Ulrika! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Losers! <laughs> uh, please welcome Anna Nolan and Terry Christian, everybody. I'm good, I'm very good, thank uh, you. I, 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 I think you look better in this get-up. Yeah, well, you, you, you had more. You, they were far more, uh, what's it, festival ish yeah. uh, than the other ones. Uh, so, uh, so let's talk about being a runner-up. Let's talk about getting all the way to the final hurdle and then just buckling. Ah, the nightmare. Yeah. Is it, does it hurt? It does a little bit at the end, yeah. yeah. You kind of, for the first few weeks, you're just getting through it. And then the last week, which the uh, housemates are going through now, they're just thinking, I'm nearly there. I'm yeah. nearly there. Maybe I'm going to do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. This, right. And then the name is called out. And actually, I was glad he won, but a little part of me. Of course you were. Of course you were. Going, <laughs> oh, you're getting all the dough. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great news. Uh, Terry, when you, when you hear the other person's voice getting read out, how does that, how does that feel? Oh, God. Oh, well, I suppose Ulrika came first. Yeah. I'm used to coming after women. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of two innuendo, Stroop. No, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I came nine places better than I thought. I'd do. Really? No, I, you know what? I think you came nine places better than we all thought you'd do. Uh, now, cast your mind back, Anna. Cast your mind back. It's a day or two before uh, everybody's going to be coming out for yeah. Harley Night. Yeah. I, is any, are people actually making moves to try and encourage votes and... Because, I mean, that whole Sirvest thing last night, all the attention yeah. obviously was on David. Next yeah. thing, you know, uh, I think I might leave. Yeah, no, it's... it's the it's, night before the finale, you idiot. I know, but it's so... He wants, he wants votes because of that. He wants people to vote and say, you know, stay, stay, stay. Definitely, you kind of up your game a little bit over the last uh, couple of days. You might be more outgoing, be kinder, be sweeter, sing more songs. I don't know, did you? Did you? Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware of doing that, but as I said, I wasn't yeah. really thinking of winning. 
No, do, I do wasn't. You think, do, seriously. Talking about, do you think there's anybody in there who is really thinking of winning? I think I think Charlie, I think Rodrigo, and do I think... Do we think Charlie thinks he's I got think it in the bag C already? And I think Sivash. Sivash is all image, isn't he? Right, OK. He's yeah, all yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. no substance. Uh, now, obviously, you don't necessarily have to win it to be successful. You've got a very ses successful television presenting career over in Ireland, don't you? Yeah. Uh, what kind of careers do you, do you think these guys might go on and have? <laughs> None. Really? No, I know. Um, <laughs> God, I don't, it depends what they want to do. I think there's some good-looking ones there. They could be models. I think uh, Steve Ash could be a, a, a psychic entertainer of some... <laughs> something weird. I don't right, know. Okay, something psychic strange. Entertainer. Is there anybody in there you definitely wouldn't employ, Terry? Wouldn't uh, you come work with you? David, only because all he ever says is, Oh, I can't believe I'm on Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't believe I'm here on the show. Uh, Thought, get over it, son. You've been in here for weeks now. What advice would you give to a man the night before? Um, just enjoy it. You know, they're probably going to have a party and just don't get too head up about it because it really, it doesn't, it's not to be all in And don't all. turn round when you're drunk and say that anyone who votes on shows like this <laughs> is thick. <laughs> no, seriously, because I think that, that would jeopardise their chances. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm pretty you know sure I mean? it would. Who's your, uh, who's your final three? Uh, mine would be Rodrigo, Sophie and uh, Charlie. Really? Yeah. Why so? Rodrigo's... I mean, it'd, it'd be a nightmare, but Rodrigo was very funny, especially when he was laughing at B. I know, Sorry, I know, B, I know. that was great. He's that great. is, that is one of the funniest things in any seemed, series of Big Brother. He seemed to have found a sense of humour just with B. Well, no, but that was very funny. Yeah, yeah, no, Because I knew great. what he was laughing it. at. Yeah. Um, then I think uh, Charlie has been amusing, but he's losing the plot a little bit the last few days. And Sophie is just dead funny. I think I'm in love with so, her. So, so which, which order would you put them in then, very quickly? Uh, I would say Sophie first. Sophie first, yeah. Rodrigo second, Charlie third. And Sivash, I'm sorry, mate, although he's a nice lad, he's got no personality, really, has oh, he? My favourite! He's my favourite! Sivash wins! Sivash wins! We'll have to wait and see what happens. Big thank you to Anna and Terry, everybody. Thank you. Now, only five housemates left. There can only be one winner, assuming they don't all walk out. The decision is yours. Here is how to vote. <laughs> Who wins Big Brother 2009? You decide. Call 09016-1616. For Charlie to win at 04. For David to win at 18. For Rodrigo to win at 11. For Sia Vash to win at 13. For Sophie to win at 15. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's live final. So this series, the internet has been a buzzing with all things Big Brother and two people who've been all over it like an online rash are our web editors, Joe Coffey and Kate Quilt and everybody, huh? <laughs> Welcome, Rash. Hi. Welcome. Hi. 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 Now, Joe, first of all, what's the reaction been like on the web to the fact that Big Brother's going to be not... Well, it's not going to be on Channel 4 after next year. No, it's been about... It's going to be only described as an avalanche of grief. Really? really George, gutting. People are, like, saying, what am I going to do with my summer? Um, I'm crying right what now. What are we going to do? What that are we going to do that summer? Do. I don't know. Going to have a bit of sunshine. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see daylight. That will be one up. Um, one 72-year-old grandma says, um, I am a 72-year-old grandma, uh, who was introduced to Big Brother by my grandchildren, and now I'm well and truly hooked. You've taken it away. Oh, see what you're doing. What did we see we what do? you're doing what to these old do? ladies around the country. Uh, what's, the, what's the feeling online about who's going to win? Well, lots of uh, fan sites have been running polls this week, obviously, saying who uh, they think is going to win. In total, it seems to be Sophie is the favourite. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 However, yeah. however, another happy over there, yeah. a major <laughs> fan site called Digital Spy has run a big poll today, and they're uh, pipping Seavash. Seavash, right, OK, yeah. so there we go. We've got Anna and Terry's favourites over there. Uh, you, uh, you've got some exclusive Twitter news for us, Kate. Big news, guys, big news. OK, the housemates tomorrow are going to tweet from inside the house. No way! They are going to tweet <laughs> I don't believe Twitter. it. Absolutely. What is this witchcraft you speak of? <laughs> Tweeting in the house. Isn't it? Isn't it just? Around lunchtime tomorrow, it's all going to kick off. So when they're kind of getting ready and the rest of it, they'll be able to pop in a diary room and post a tweet. So uh, follow uh, Official Big Brother on Twitter, How Official BB. amazing is that? 
Uh, now, uh, we uh, we were able to, or people rather, were able to audition <coughs> via the web. Will people be able to do that next time round? Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, at the moment, we're kind of figuring out the audition process, but uh, we'll have all details on the website pretty soon. So keep an eye on the website if you fancy being a housemate yourself next time round. Anybody fancy it? Yeah. They all do. Yeah. They all do. Three people down yeah. the front there. Joe, what else have you seen, babe? Uh, George, we know you're a fan of mashups. Of course, I love know a mashup. Love a good yeah. mashup. So yeah. we've got one final mashup for you. Oh. Of, uh, someone sent in via YouTube the best bits of Big Brother 10. Take it away. Something person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is Hera. <laughs> Hera? Who the hell is Hera? That's me. Oh, hello, love. How long have you been here? I came in the same time as you. Oh, are you lovely? Isn't she lovely, Liz? Yeah, she's lovely, Dave. Oh, I'm gonna really miss you, Hera. Don't you ever talk to me again. Fine, I never want to talk to you anyway, pet. Never talk to me again. No, oh, here we go again. How long do you think they're never ever going to talk to each other for this time? Probably about 20 minutes, Bab. <laughs> How good was that, huh? Well, I'm gonna miss stuff. those mashups. Yeah. I know. Going. What do you think? What do you think's gonna happen? Come on, we're a day away. We've been watching it every day all summer. I can tell you what is going to happen tomorrow yeah. when the show is going out. We've got a live Twitter quiz, George. Really? That is wow, one that thing is that is for be sure. Happening. So, so if you fancy playing along like while you're watching the show, it's just before uh, the, the two main shows log on. To so Big they're twittering in the house. We're twittering out here. All of it. Tweeting crazy. I don't even tweet. I don't even. Are you going to be twittering, guys? No. They're going to be there. Of course you are. <laughs> yeah. Terry yeah. doesn't even know how to work a computer. <laughs> Thank you very much, all my guests for today's show. Make sure you watch the main show tonight, 10 o'clock on Friday. See you back here on East Force March 6 for a special show with all the ex-housemates, Eureka Johnson, and some friends of the show. Please don't miss it. Take care.